Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to use color lookup adjustment layers in Photoshop to make a photo look like a screenshot from a movie. Let's get started. Lookup tables, or LUTs, are used in the film industry to recolor footage. Each different lookup table maps the original colors of an image to a specific set of new colors. They're basically just presets in a format that many people aren't familiar with. So here's our source image of a pretty cool off-road vehicle peeling out in the middle of the desert. And this would make a pretty cool scene in a movie, so we're going to add some effects to make it look like it's actually part of a movie. So the first thing that we want to do is add some film grain. So I'm going to come down and create a new layer, and using my paint bucket tool, I'm going to fill that layer with black. Then I'm going to come up and choose Filter, Noise, Add Noise, and I want the amount set to 100%, the distribution set to Gaussian and monochromatic checked. Then I'll just hit OK. Next I'll change the blend mode for that layer to overlay and set the opacity to 15%. Next I'm going to come over to my adjustments palette and I'm going to click the color lookup adjustment layer. Up here in the properties next to the abstract radio button I'm going to click the drop down menu and choose gold blue. That's going to apply a preset gold and blue lookup table to change the colors in my image. I want it to be a little more subtle, so I'm going to change the opacity for that layer to 75%. So if I turn that off and back on again, you can see the colors change in my image. Next, I'm going to add another color lookup adjustment layer, and this time in the top drop down menu, I'm going to choose Film Stock 50. Next, I'll come over to my rectangle tool and make sure that I have shape selected. And using black, I'm going to click on my image and create a rectangle that's 1920 by 100 pixels and hit OK. I'm going to drag this rectangle to the top of my image and then press Ctrl J to duplicate that and move that copy to the bottom of my image. Now if we look at the before and the after, that already looks pretty good, but there's a couple more tweaks we can make. I'm going to click my background layer and then add a curves adjustment layer. I'm going to drag the middle of this curve down just a bit, and then on my layer mask for the curves adjustment layer, I'm going to paint using a soft brush using the color black to hide that adjustment in certain areas of my image. I want that curves adjustment only to affect the edges to add a little vignette to my image. So here I'm painting black onto my canvas without touching the corners of my image. So if I turn that off and on, you can see that it adds a subtle vignette. Next, I'm going to click my top color lookup adjustment layer and add a new levels adjustment above that. Up here in the properties, I'm going to drag the black output level up to about 25, and that's going to make anything black in my image show up as a dark gray. That's going to help us simulate our film look. I'm also going to drag our white output level down just a bit. Down to 250 is good. And that's it for our film look, so if I turn all these layers off, you can see our before image here, which is just a regular old photograph, but if I turn all those back on, it looks like a stylized scene from a movie. Color lookup adjustment layers are one of the least used and least understood types of adjustment layers in Photoshop, but they allow you to quickly add some professional, movie quality looks to almost any image. I'm John Shaver for Photoshop Video Academy. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.